Hello. I have a story to tell. And to be perfectly honest, I already told it. And I wanted the resolution on it to be the best it could. So I had the phone turned the other way around, and I did it on the time lapse, which of course is useless for this purpose. All right, so on to the story. My car has a battery. The battery has been having a little trouble. I've been having to charge it regularly. It has, on occasion, even though I've had the charger on, let me down. So today, the weather was nice, life was good, I cleared out the back, I got at the battery, and then, after I found a 10 millimeter wrench, or socket wrench, which is all that I would need to undo the terminals, I found that there was a little foot thing holding down the end of the battery, which also needs a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter wrench, which of course I have but it's about nine or 10 inches down and there's no room to get anything in there. So you gotta have an extension. Well, somewhere I have extensions. Do you think I could find them? No, of course not. <sighs> so thinking that of course I was going to get a new battery today at da -da -da, Canadian Tire, I headed off there. I couldn't take the battery out ahead of time because of course I didn't have an extension, but also I can't drive the car without the battery in it. So I had the Canadian Tire. Cool. I go in. I find what I want. I find an extension. Also, there is um, a pack of a bunch of extensions. And I think, boy, if I get all of these, it costs more. But then I don't have to worry. But anyway, all of these things are in a locked cabinet. And there's a sign that says um, that all things from the cabinet have to be taken to the cashier by one of their employees. And of course you can't open the cabinet without one of their employees. So I, I, I'm looking over the one thing that would do, and I'm also looking over the set that would do everything. The three very sizes of sockets. And anyway, I figure the one thing would cost me about $15 and the other with the whole bunch would cost me about 40. And I'm thinking, well, what do I want to do? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because of course I can't get them. But I'm thinking. So I walk to the end of the aisle, I see a girl, a woman in a red shirt that says Canadian Tire, and I said, hello, can you help me in here? And she said, no, but I'll call somebody. And I hear her do it. She has a phone. It's like an internal phone. And I wait, 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 and nobody comes. So I did something that I've not done in a very long time. And the last time I did it was at Sears Canada. And that, of course, shortly after I did this, no reason, I mean, it, I didn't make this happen, but anyway, Sears Canada closed. Anyway, I was in Sears Canada, couldn't find anybody. So I phoned the store and said, hey, you know, I'm looking for some help in down in the like hardware kind of lawnmower department. And they said, where, where, where are you? I said, well, I'm down there. I've, I've been looking all around. I've been going all over the store trying to find anybody who can help me. I can't find anybody. They said, oh, you know what? I didn't call the store. I called the head office. That got results. My golly, people suddenly scrambled to help me. Anyway, not long after Sears went out of business. So today, there I am. I've already, I, you know, I can't find the woman who summoned people who haven't come. So I phoned the store. I would have maybe called the head office, but I'm sure they're closed on a Saturday. And I get a guy on the phone, and I said, Hi, if I come into your store, can you help me find some, or can somebody help me find something? And he said, What are you looking for? I said, I'm looking for a socket extension. He said, Oh, well, hang on, let me look. And he looks, and he starts babbling about online things and this and that. And he says, No, no, we don't have anything like that. Now, I usually stay pretty calm. And I still, considering all things, I think I was pretty calm. But I did say, in a rather terse, quick, exasperated voice, Don't tell me that. I'm in aisle 34, in your store, right now, looking at what I want. So don't tell me you don't have it. And still he tried to tell me, Oh, no, no we're out of stock, we don't, we don't, whatever. And I was like, I'm in your store. I'm in aisle 34. Can you just send somebody to open the cabinet? And then he's, there was some sort of kerfuffle going, anyway. 
So I continue to wait. I did finally see the woman with the phone, and she looked at me like, why are you still here? And I said, well, because nobody's come. But I have just phoned, and, and just then in the distance, a man appeared. And he actually had a tag on that indicated he might be some level of management. And his age did seem to exceed 16. He was probably actually in his 40s, maybe 50s, I don't know. And he was quite helpful. And he opened the cabinet. And uh, he said, what are you after? And I said, well, I think this. And he looked it up, and he actually found that what the whole bunch of them was on sale. It wasn't marked on sale, but it was on sale. It was an in-source special, but no sign. So I could get the whole bunch, instead of getting the one for 15, or the whole bunch for 40, I could get the whole bunch for about 22 or 23 after taxes. So I said, ah, good deal. But I did, I did make mention to him. I said, you, know, you should tell the guy, on the, whoever answered the phone, like, you got to do better. You got to do better. Anyway, so then I said, of course, you need to escort me to the cashier with this, don't you? And he said, no, no, you're good. So I said, already? So I went to the cashier. I paid. I came out. I gave it a try. Oh, but just wait. And I said, oh, yes, I need to go over to the automotive department because I need a battery. That's why I need this extension so I can get my battery out. Well, because I had to wait so long in aisle 34, it's now past 6 o'clock. The automotive department is closed, and they won't sell me. Even the store, the store is open till 9, they won't sell me a battery because the automotive people aren't there. So, I did buy the extensions, and you know, I did ponder buying a set of screwdrivers that was normally $124 or $125, on sale, 80% off, only $25, but I didn't. Why? Because their customer service sucks. The last guy was okay, but leading up to that, it sucks. And the fact that they won't sell me a battery because their automotive people aren't there. Like, what if I was in the middle of something? What if I was in distress? What if I had to get somewhere? I had a pregnant woman in the car or some other thing. I'm sorry, we can't sell you a battery because our guys aren't here. Even though the batteries are right there. They're right there. They're not locked up. They're not in a cabinet. Anyway, so I did test out the extensions or the one that I needed, and it worked fine. I was able to get the little foot thing off, although I can't really get it because it's stuck down there. I guess I can get the foot thing when I get the battery out. Um, I'm not sure how I can get it back on, but there's another strap. That's, I mean, you don't want the battery flying around or doing horrible things in case there was a crash. Um, but anyway, I'll get it sorted out. So I guess tomorrow, I'll have to go back to the entire. But, you know... If I had another choice and the price was comparable, I'd go somewhere else. I would. Because, you know, customer service is important. Like my brother was telling me he needed some sockets, uh, thin wall sockets for some wheels. And he went to the Canadian Tire in Minden, Ontario, and he got horrible service. And it was like, we don't have it. We don't want to help you. We're not going to look. We're not going to do anything. Go away. Leave us alone. We're busy. Which isn't exactly what they said, but that's essentially what happened. So we ended up at the, and this is an example of good customer service. Can you imagine? A Canadian Tire. He went to the store in Lindsay. And he found somebody who he looked around. He couldn't find the thing. He found somebody, a young person who happened to be a woman who had a phone of some sort that she was able to look up and say, oh, well, no wonder you can't find them. We don't have any. But she was helpful. And then not only that, she said, hey, you know what? Finland Falls has three of them. So even though this, her store was not going to make a sale, the Canadian Tire would. And that, that is customer service. With a smile, helpful, fine. Like, you know, in the midst of things, like I'm sure they have lots of beans to count and things to put on shelves and all kinds of things. But when there's a paying customer standing, in my case, in now 34, at the, oh, and I'll say at the Canadian Tire in Markham, on Major Mackenzie, not far from the Highway 404, when they're there, ready to buy something, your other stuff doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And, and certainly, management should say, oh, you were helping a customer? Cool! Because that's what we need. We need people to buy things. 
we don't it doesn't matter if you're putting out all the little ticky things or taking the carts or whatever you're doing the most important thing is serve the customer reminds me of steve dangle the toronto maple leaf guy who, who has the thing called um i can't remember what it's called anyway steve dangle and, and he talks about when goalies leave the net and do stupid things and get scored on. And he says, if you're the goaltender, tend the goal. Well, if you are working a Canadian tire, tend the customers. Because without them, what do you got? You have Sears, Sears Canada, which is out of business. Probably cost them gazillions to close all their stores and do all the things they had to do. So, and now, of course, other people have taken over their space and their space has been broken up and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so this story will continue because tomorrow I will go back, chances are, to Canadian Tire. But I'll tell you something. Tonight, I'm going to look online and I'm going to see if there's somewhere else on Sunday that I can find a battery at a comparable price. And then, when it's all said and done, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to write to Canadian Tire. Their latest ads are, are, are great, and they say, oh, look, we've got Party City in here. -hoo 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 -hoo. Well, it's no party when you're standing alone in aisle 34 looking at what you want, and the bozo on the phone, well-intentioned bozo, who's probably busy counting something or doing something or who knows what, can't take the time to be helpful because he doesn't think I'm in the store. He thinks I might come to the store, but I'm in the store. <coughs> Anyway, this whole adventure now has taken perhaps as much as an hour and a half, when really the store is, you know, it's not close, but it's not far. I probably should have been able to be back here in, oh, I would say between 45 minutes and an hour, maybe less, if I'd been able to walk in and say, oh, look, this is what I need, get this, right, great, fine, go get the battery. I could have had the new battery in. Could have been dandy. Now, I've got to... uh Get out of the car, open up the hood, put the battery charger back on the car, get it all plugged in, get it all happy. Oh, you know, I might, maybe because I have access to the battery now, because the battery in this car is not in the front. It's in the back. That's why I need the special wrench. Not the special wrench, the extension, because you can't get at it. Anyway, maybe I'll put the battery charger directly on the battery. Because then I can lock up the car, I think. See, I'm always worried someone's going to steal the battery charger. Now, they can't steal the battery because they can't get into the car because it's not under the hood. But they could do damage to the car if somebody was wandering around and says, hey, look, the hood on the car. So what I do is I put the battery charger deep as I can inside the thing, and I, I, I can't quite close the hood, but almost. So in the darkness, probably no one will notice. Hey, look, that hood's up a little bit. <sighs> anyway, this story will be continued. And hopefully it will be continued with a happy ending. But I do think I will pass this story on to the people of the head office at Canadian Tire. So they can perhaps um, not, you know what, people, they, they have courses you take. And it really doesn't matter if you actually learn anything from them. It's just so that they can say that you've taken the courses. In other words, ass covering maneuvers. Maybe they can actually get the managers to instill in the people in the store that customer service is important. It is primary. It is all important. It is all encompassing. When someone comes in and says, yo, I'm looking for something, help them. Or if somebody calls and says, if I come in, can you help me? Say, yes, yes, we can. You just come to aisle 34, and we'll take care of it. Anyway, to be continued. Bye for now.